What's up everybody, I'm Alex, AKA Alex the Vagabond, and in this video I'll be sharing with you an ass kicker of a workout. No gym membership required, no weights, just you, a mat, and a lot of sweat. Let's get into it. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? I'm Alex, AKA Alex the Vagabond. Uh, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm a travel filmmaker, photographer, uh, and storyteller. And wow, the world has really changed in the last week especially. But the last couple of weeks have been very unsettling, very unnerving, and there's just a lot of questions that remain to be answered regarding the COVID-19 illness from the coronavirus that's spreading around the world as we speak. If you aren't aware of what the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, or the WHO, World Health Organization, are asking of all of us as individuals around the world, it's essentially social distancing and self Quarantine. Even if you're not feeling sick, the WHO and the CDC are essentially beseeching all of us to stay home, stay isolated, and really minimize our interactions with other people. If you're young and healthy, then you do supposedly have a lower risk of this disease being fatal, but that doesn't mean that you don't have the ability to pass it on to people who might be immunocompromised or older. This disease seems to be affecting the elderly much more than younger people, but we as young people have a responsibility to do our part to try to minimize the damage from this virus. So if you are out there and you're watching this, please check in with the WHO or the CDC for guidelines on what you should and shouldn't be doing right now. It's really important that we all take our own individual steps by hunkering down to our homes for the next little while until this virus is under control. But one of the elements that makes this so challenging is the fact that we are going to be essentially inside for the next couple of weeks or potentially months. With that in mind, it's even more important now that we focus on our health and our wellness. And over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be making more videos like this where I'm just sharing my routines at home, especially my workout routine, which uh, does not require a gym membership, does not require weights. All you really need uh, is yourself and a little bit of open space. Uh, a yoga mat makes it a lot more comfortable, but it's not necessary. If you don't have a yoga mat, you can just use a towel, put a towel down on the ground. Remember though, while you're doing this, make sure that your area is clean. Try to avoid touching your face or putting your hands in your mouth, especially when you have your hands on the floor and stuff. If you follow me on Instagram at Alex the Vagabond or at Vagabrothers, then you're probably aware that I've been on this fitness journey for the past maybe six months. And I am not like a chiseled Greek god. I'm not your super yoked meathead influencer. That is not me. I'm a normal person. I have to work pretty hard to stay in decent shape. I feel like a lot of you out there can relate with that. But I have been honing in some really great workouts that you can do from home. But the workout I'm gonna be sharing with you guys and girls today is primarily cardio based. It's gonna get your heart rate up. You're gonna get a good sweat from it. If you do decide to try this workout, please make sure you tag me in your Instagram story at Alex the Vagabond and hopefully make the self quarantine a little bit less boring. Hopefully keep all of us feeling good, feeling strong, feeling healthy to uh, flatten the curve and make, make it through this weird time on planet Earth. Feel free to share how you felt this workout was down there in the comment section. So let's get into the workout. Four sets. The first exercise is called a clap jack. It's like a jumping jack, except you are going to be clapping your hands. Instead of going up and over, we're gonna be taking our hands out and clapping them together. So it's pretty simple. Arms out, arms in. When you bring your arms out, you put your legs out. You're gonna do 50 clap jacks. Once you've done 50 clap jacks, you're gonna hit the ground. We're gonna do 40 mountain climbers. 
Mountain climbers are great. They're gonna help you uh, work out your abdominal area, also strengthen your back, parts of your legs, your shoulders for stabilization. Mountain climbers are a great workout. So I'm a big fan of, of these mountain climbers. Bigger fan of actually climbing mountains, but when you're in quarantine, this is a good substitute. After we do 40 mountain climbers, we're gonna get back up off of the ground and we're gonna do 30 rock stars. Rock stars! When you think about what a rock star is doing on stage at a concert, they are essentially doing a cardio workout. Look at Mick Jagger, he's 70 something years old, still dancing around. So this is the rock star. You wanna take your arms from down by your hips and bring them over your head. When we do that, our right hand comes up and our left arm goes back. So you're just countering your movements. So once again, it's like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After we do our 30 rock stars, we're going to do 20 speed skaters. This is really gonna help you focus on stability and balance. So you're gonna be jumping from one side to the other, just like a speed skater would be doing on ice skates. It's essentially the same movement, but you're gonna be jumping from your right leg to your left leg, right leg to your left leg. After that, we're gonna get back down onto the mats and we're gonna do 10 inchworm tuck jumps. So an inchworm, uh, is essentially you're imitating what a worm does or a caterpillar the way that it moves uh, So you're gonna be using your hands and going from standing down to essentially a plank and from there you back it back up Onto your feet and then you add a tuck jump and after that we're gonna get down Back onto the mat and we're gonna do five leg lifts. Okay, so let's get in there rock stars. Let's go. So after you've done your 30 rock stars, you're taking notes from Mick Jagger, you wanna be able to move and groove in your mid 70s. We're gonna go and we're gonna do 20 speed skaters. You're gonna jump like that. And you wanna balance and slow. So bringing that leg out like that. 20, 19. Good. 
I do speed skaters, I just think of Blades of Glory. Okay, moving on. Now we have 10 inchworm tuck jumps. I'm a big fan of the inchworm. I like it. It's kind of like mixing stretching with exercise. But the tuck jump at the end, that's what's really gonna keep your heart rate up. So let me demonstrate. Remember, one more time, bring it down, walk it out, hold the plank, walk it back, tuck. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. If you want to make the inchworm tuck jumps a little bit more challenging, you can add a push-up in when you're in that plank position. Uh, that's up to you. And then last but not least, once you've finished your 10 inchworm tuck jumps, you're going to be back on the mat and you're going to do five leg lifts. You can put your arms by your side or if you want a little bit easier, you can tuck your hands in underneath your butt cheeks and you're going to lift your feet maybe six inches off the ground, all the way up, slowly back down to six inches, that's one. Four, three, two, one, and zero. Okay, everybody, well, there you have it, a simple workout that you can do from home. I guarantee you, you're gonna get a great sweat going when you do this. You can do it in your bedroom, your living room, you can do it in a hotel room, wherever you are hunkered down or hold up right now. You can also do this while traveling, but um, right now, it's not a great time to travel. As you can see, check out the news. The, uh, this virus is really changing the way that our world works right now. So uh, I know that some people out there uh, are trying to minimize the severity of COVID-19, but I really, really want to stress the importance of following the guidelines of the World Health Organization and the CDC, which are recommending that we practice social distancing, that we do not visit our elderly relatives, that goes for parents and grandparents, anybody over the age of 65, uh, and people who have compromised immune systems. We should not be going and visiting those loved ones right now because we, as healthy young individuals, have the possibility to pass on the virus, even though we might not even notice that we're sick. So please follow the guidelines of the WHO and the CDC uh, and try this workout at home. If you have any other videos that you'd like me to make, uh, please share those down in the comment section. And as I always say, train harder, fail smarter, never give up. When everything felt oh so right, I 